Having survived 26 days in complete wilderness, I built a home for myself, explored a healthy portion of the woods, investigated ruins of growing complexity, and started to struggle to reach and explore new ruins in a single day. Soon, I would need to find a solution. But for now, I still had buildings in my range. Yeah, I'm thinking we knock these out, then move east and start exploring a little bit further off to this side. Searching through the complex, I found a bad omen. Ooh. Ah, it's the same building. A ruin like the one from yesterday. But let's hope this time it's going to be different. Ellie! The cabinets were empty again. The remaining structures also lacked promise, with their long or small shapes mirroring the countless barren ones I had previously checked. All empty, I ventured into the unknown once again. Taking up my whole screen, I'd found something special. What the hell is that? <laughs> Little rat. I wanted to explore it now, but its sheer stature deterred further investigation until I had a full day. With time to kill, I repeated a process all too familiar. Fishing, cooking, washing, crafting, and sleeping in. So I think if we push along the river and then sort of sweep up, we'll be able to tackle this building by the end of the day. Just gonna make sure I got bats and everything else that I need. So through scrub and open areas, I pushed east. Are they staying next to the river? Yeah, it's opening up. Yeah, fighting in this area where it's tighter is just dangerous. So it's nice to be able to have sort of an open space. We're moving parallel deeper in to reveal structures. Following the path, I ran into a question. Continue my mission or keep tracing the river? Bodies upon bodies lay in my way and soon lay behind me as the water began flowing south. Fighting in the lightly wooded field. It's really opened up, it's quite nice. The rain failed to dissuade me, but the dimming light would. Without a way to tell time, could have slept in, perhaps enough for it to be late. I needed to double back. The brewing storm created pools on the ground, but failed to soak through my clothes, letting me spend the evening on myself. In the dim light of dawn, I was off. We should skirt all the way around regardless before I start yelling. Confirm if there's like a nice open area nearby that we can use to fight in. Having circled the main entrances, I entered. As I navigated the overgrowth, I amassed keys for the building. And all that vastness... Is it completely empty? This whole damn thing. Nothing again. To hopefully find something, I started searching the smaller ruins next door. <sighs> Odds it's just nothing. Oh, more crates, okay. Well, let's issue the challenge. Right, again. A little further in this time. The surrounding structures were empty, but there were crates in the center. Every item was valuable, but it was more of the same. These crates never seemed to feature the items I truly desired. Laden, I called it. <sighs> Must have got through my leather glove. Marking off my progress, I contemplated potential places for a forward operating base. I might build a base here. Even if this just wraps around and it's like not covering, as much of an area as I would like, it's still quite useful. I could always build up here as well. I think that's the play. So for the rest of the day, 
gathered items for construction, and short-term survival in a pile for tomorrow. Might have full stakes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can make a tent. And lick my wounds. The pile was too heavy to take. To compensate, I ditched most water and food, and left behind items I could craft once I was there. Why would I vault that? God damn it. <laughs> An injury's bad. Oh, I've screwed myself over there. The scratch on my right hand greatly impacted my swings, so I fled from larger groups and approached the clearing. The dead waiting for us on the other side. Unknown woods all around. Just like home. Before starting, I dumped everything and yelled. With no answer, I returned to basics. I traded two axes I brought for two trees, crafted a campfire kit, sorted food and water, put up the tent, and foraged for chipped stones. I was back where I began, but so much stronger. Oh, these stone axes are not lasting as long as I was hoping they would. I put the logs to work, sawing them into planks, erecting wooden frames, and filling in the gaps. Exposed to the world, I relied on the ruckus I had created, my current low profile for safety as I risked sleeping. After spearfishing for breakfast and relaxing by the fire, I continued encasing my campsite. It was a long day with minor hiccups. Ooh, that's not good. I guess I'll just make a stone knife. But I had to finish. Refusing sleep until the wood entombed me. The more I worked, the more the progression of the operating base mirrored my homes. Hey, underweight's gone. How did I not notice that? Straw comes from picking grass. I wanted to explore, but a single line of defense and no storage was far from adequate. With seven improved stone axes in hand, the trees didn't stand a chance. And with the logs placed along the outline, neither did the extension. Persisting into tomorrow, I tore up grass, added wooden flooring and built crates. Safe and somewhat furnished, I put away items and crafted a trowel from a chip stone, twigs, and a rope made from the excess tree branches. Now if I found seeds to plant, or needed to resort to eating worms for sustenance, I was ready. The forward operating base established, I restored myself and my clothes. With my main objective complete, I dawdled away the day. At halfway to level 6 carpentry, I should keep working to get there, but my vision had already turned outward. To map the landscape, I followed the river east, time to see if all this hullabaloo was worth it, and eventually south. Dirt track detouring off, I stuck close to the river bank and pushed on. That looks promising. A bridge across. I wanted to go over. The gaps and overall thinness meant a group could cut off my retreat, so I yelled to pull them out. Feels good, feels good. 
in unfamiliar territory and nervous, I claimed my first kill for this side and hurried back across. Pushing further south felt fruitless, so I chose the path back into the trees, leading me to a new set of ruins to check. Yeah, just more regular ruins. Suppose I could knock them out on my way back. And loot. I encountered the standard empty buildings. Fool's Gold building. The one I'd dubbed Fool's Gold. And the two story one with crates. I claimed another collection of books, tape, glue, pens, lighters, and empty notebooks. And kept going. I think we've encountered a similar design to this. It's different from the first one, same as the second, I believe. This one, since I think we're on a bit of a time crunch, go for a more stealthy entry. What? Why? It's a ruin! Why? Oh. I'm just gonna bolt. There's literally no point. I fought those who spotted me and raced back. where I saw a concerning sight. It doesn't seem right. That building there has pulled all the way from here towards it. What the hell is that? The alarm had reached far, no doubt bogging down the area and putting all exploration further southeast on hold. You hear that? That's really concerning. Their presence was concerning, but with there only being two and my layers of defense, my mind was at ease. With this whole area infested because of the alarm, I think it's now worthwhile to look more towards the north, sort of start removing this fog, maybe even find a good location for another forward operating base. I spare fish for a skimp breakfast. There goes most of the day. <laughs> and heated my bones by the fire. Maybe I could knock these out though. Still kind of close, but honestly the alarm might help because it'll pull them away. Today I aim for the buildings north of the alarm, hoping to decongest the path east and relieve the pressure on the area. That's a lot. I suppose they may have seen me, so I made my retreat from the alarm. Got caught on these trees when I'm getting stuck here. Still, there's quite a few. Just waiting for me to run through. Might find more. Fighting amongst the ruins, found nothing. Once these knocked out, I got one over here. And I forgot to bring water. Damn, that's quite the crowd. Only to run into too many dead. Right, well, let's pull them away, let's pull them away. I... Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, is this a campsite? Oh, no wonder there's so many. Who I led directly into a campground. A radio. This is... This is some good stuff. They can break the tents. I forgot that they can break the tents. Gotta pull them away. I ran into the woods to lose the horde and return to slay any stragglers. I tried picking up the radio and failed, so I grabbed the tent pegs and went in. It's more empty cabinetry. Nothing again. I salvaged what I could and admitted defeat. Well, I gotta eat home anyways. 
On my way back, I passed another tall tower, clashed with an impaled Zed. Is that a spear? It is. And tread over the corpses sprinkled along my path. My progress marked, I dumped my loot, caught far more fish than the morning, and thought of my next step. With the ruins east cleared, I needed to size up the landscape. All right, now I say we gun it north. Check out this fog. A feat I planned to do by pushing north until I hit a river, or had to double back. The trip through the trees brought me into direct conflict with the dead, making me fight for every meter gained, and turning each open area into a battleground. I don't know if it's a good sign, but the quantity of the undead is increasing, and rather dramatically. Past a thousand kills, and I'm in the middle of nowhere. Is it even worth it? For minimal loot, I was getting bogged down. So I weaved further and further north through the trees, and around the dead's outstretched arms. That's big. That's big. Hitting the river, I began to move east, hoping for another bridge. <sighs> but nothing. I should really turn back. I was hoping to sort of find the end of the path, maybe find a bridge. Something that another day would be worth running to and setting up a camp, but no such luck. Far from my walls and unsure of the time, I called it. The trees afforded no landmarks as I wandered to the southwest, with the constant pressure of undead preventing me from checking my map. That's new. Especially the fact that it's two stories, I way too big to be something I've seen before. Coming face to face with a double story building, I was lost. But with a quick look at my map, I went hard west, hit the river, and continued up. Until I saw another ruin. Wait, did I ever shoot it? And as it turns out, one of the first ruins I had ever seen. I'd gone too far. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa. I did not mean to do that. Now at home, I reviewed my journey. I must have come up and then gone a lot harder west than I thought, linked up with this and then gunned it. Cause that's where I noticed. Oh, oh. damn, it is easy to get lost in the trees. But more importantly, this river most likely connects here. So, maybe tomorrow or the following day, if I loop up and go along here, I can confirm this is empty or that I'll have looted most of it. As the two scouted rivers most likely met, I had my next trip on a silver platter.